What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell to stay up to date on all content going down on this channel. Appreciate you, love you. Now back to the videos. Nah, this ain't nonsense, this is nonfiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, you were entertaining. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your man's here, Nonfiction, with another reaction. And this time, it's for the trailer for The Monsters. Um, just to give you... Let's see what it says on the trailer. Let's see. It says, the basic synopsis is the adventures of Herman Munster and his eccentric family. So just so you guys know, this is basically a movie that they're, it's going to be redone. And it originally aired in, I want to say, the mid-60s. I, remember, I used to watch this as a child in the 80s and 90s. Um, there was two seasons, if I remember correctly. It was kind of competing with The Addams Family and a couple other TV shows. During, during that time period, Halloween was like in the 80s, 70s. Even though people talked about it in a negative connotation, Halloween was a big thing. And so these shows were pretty big shows during that time period. I, as a kid, as a child and a young teenager, really enjoyed watching it. It's nothing serious it was shot in black and white um from my understanding this is from the trailer i mean from the thumbnail this is in color which already kind of sets a different tone um i know this is done by rob zombie and i'm a big fan of rob zombie i like the work he has done on some of his movies so we're going to get into this trailer and we'll we'll kind of see what see what they're doing with it and then talk about it afterwards so let's pull it up real quick Okay. Make sure y'all can hear the sound. All right, let's get into it, y'all. Once again, the monsters brought to us by Rob Zombie. Let's see. So we got the classic intro with the world, the black and white joint. So it's universal pictures, okay. Rob Zombie. The director of House of a Thousand Corpses, I like Halloween, that and the Devil's Rejects I like brings you the greatest love story ever told. Oh, uh, I, I don't like the sound of that. Think of it. The brain of a super genius transplanted into the body of a perfect physical specimen. <laughs> I want a man that makes my blood run cold. A man that every time he enters my crypt, it's like a stake through my dead black heart. I can whip the upper humpy down in the lamb. Oh, no. Now he you actually sounded like the original character. He was battered. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm looking for a vision, a queen, true love. I do not like that. Is there a monster in there? <laughs> Uh -huh. I knew the moment I laid eyes on you that you were special. I understand if you don't feel the same. I'm just a regular gal living a boring, normal life. If there's one thing I know, is that the rest of the world melts it away as soon as you appear in my life. It seems Miss Lily is truly in love. Oh, come on, you know and I know that we gotta get rid of that bozo Herman Munster. <laughs> 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 That's very similar. <laughs> That's very similar. Okay, give me some black and white. Okay. from Transylvania. <laughs> That's a strange way of saying hello. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to get used to it. The all new movie, September, Rob Zombie. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> you know, I am very optimistic when it comes to TV shows and movies. And y'all know, those who follow this channel, and look at the reaction. Y'all know I try to be as optimistic as possible. But I'm going to tell you, 
from somebody who grew up watching this as a kid, I didn't like that trailer. And then also, here's the crazy thing. I, I saw online, some people talk about it on Twitter, that they paid $40 million for this. <laughs> if that's a true number, who's handing out checks? Because I can do this better with two iPhones and three Samsungs. Like, this, the, oh, come on, man. Like, the overly color, it feels like, okay, it feels like they took Beetlejuice and Michael Myers' cat in a hat and put it together and threw a little bit of the monsters on top monsters on top of it. So I'm a, this I, from the way it looks, you see Herman, you see Lily, you see the father. So this is obviously before this is probably right before they got married. So that's the story that because they have kids later, you know they have kids in the original story, original TV show. There's children that are involved. Um, but I'm I'm, I'm just gonna say like. Rob Zombie, like, you do good work, you know what I'm saying? And she should have left it in black and white. She left it in black and white. She have not added color. Um, it just feels like, it feels like when you go watch a classic film from the 60s, 70s, and they say, now available in Technicolor. That's what I feel like I just saw, because it was too colorful. It was too, it was too much. It was too much, and I, I, I was not impressed, did not like it. Um, it's universal, so I don't know. Nah, that doesn't write really me anything, but at the same time, this I don't. I'm I'm not impressed. I that's that's all I can say about like, hmm. Yeah, like it was okay. The trailer was okay. That's just to be honest with you. Like I said, I watched that show as a kid. The monsters and Al's family. I they used to come on back to back. I used to watch that show like crazy, especially around Halloween time. They got the Monsters mini movie and Adam's Family mini movies before the Adam's Family started doing like the big production movies. We would have that playing in the background. My mom would have the scary like vinyl. Yes, they have scary sounds playing throughout the house, scaring all the neighborhood kids. Like we really enjoyed Halloween when Halloween came around. So like shows like this, even though they were campy and silly, they weren't to the point where it felt like that. Like, it didn't feel, maybe just a time period that I'm older, so I'm like, okay, this feels stupid. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But, you guys let me know what you thought. Let me know if you enjoyed the trailer. If you didn't, or if you did, just write down the comments. And I don't know, man. Like, it makes me want to go back and try to find the original trailer to the reaction of that and compare and contrast the two. That's what it makes me want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, Hope you enjoyed my reaction. Hope you enjoyed just my honest truth about it, how I feel about it. I appreciate your love. You hope you have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Nonfiction, and I will catch you on the next one, man. Just and then right up in this area, right here, right here, right in this area, you'll see another video. Click on that video. Go there. Check it out. Give us some love on that video, too. Like it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button right here. Appreciate you. Love you. Catch you next one, y'all. I'm out, y'all. That. I'm disappointed in, in, in that one, man. Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie, really? That's just terrible. Peace out, y'all.